a con artist on Tumblr.com. Many of you may know me as Natto Soup. I'm one of the two admins along with Curie Scott and one of the founders of the Tumblr. And this is my table. So. Sorry about that. For those of you who are not yet familiar with anime cons, there are going to be a lot of attendees who walk around with their own music. Sometimes that can make it very difficult to hear your customers when you're trying to do sales. If you're losing your hearing like I am, it can be really frustrating. Anyway, like I said, this is my table. My table is a combination table. I sell a variety of things from original mini watercolors. to my comic 7-inch Kara, which I have a demo copy on the table for customers to pick up. Okay. okay. Can I look through it? Go ahead, please do. This is my, my baby. This is what I went to school for, was comics. I am a comic artist at heart. Um, so you made all this? I did make all of this. Um, I did pay a friend to help me lay out the book, but I did all of the design work for the book. In fact, the reason I do anime cons is so I can sell my comic along with other things. It allows me to be solvent as an artist. Not a lot of money in comics? Um, not a lot of money in watercolor children's comics with a female protagonist that has a bit of a manga influence. Yeah, I see there's a lot of girls in here. There are. It's pretty much all girls and one dad. The cat's a boy. Your table's really big. Thank you, I got really lucky. These are eight foot tables. Um, usually conventions will give you a six foot table. Every now and then you do get lucky and you get an eight foot table. The tablecloth here is three yards of fabric um, bought in length from Joanne's Fabrics. This is what Kiri and I both recommend is to buy the nine, um, the three yard length because it'll help, it'll work for a six foot table as well as an eight foot table just in case you get lucky like I did. In fact, this is an optimal setup for me because I do have so much stuff. I'm utilizing a wire grid system to display my work. Many convention artists use the pipe system because they are primarily prints so they need to get their art up and off the table. I do need to have art on the table and art up and off the table. Um, I also use plate stands from Joann's and Michael's. You can also find them on Overstock and um, Amazon to hold up my mini comics and my sketchbooks. Um, I also use cute pie plates that sort of go with the theme of my table to display my cute little tchotchkes. It's really cute. I like your art. Oh, I thank you very much. I've worked very hard to get to this point. And you guys can too if you practice. So, um, how do you say that? Natto soup? That's right. N A T T O S O U P. Natto, like the fermented soybean food, and soup, like the thing it probably doesn't taste super good in. Yeah, that sounds gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is catchy and it does stick in people's heads. It's much catchier than my given name, Becca. So if I'm an artist, should I make up a name? That's really up to you. Um, when I got started, it was really uncommon to use your given name on the internet. I'm kind of old. But more and more artists are using their given name from the get-go. If you can get your given name as a Twitter, um, a Gmail account, a website, a Tumblr account, by all means, use your given name. Although I think having pseudonyms at anime cons really helps because it sort of gives you a name to work under, like Natto Soup Studio. This banner up here is a six foot banner. It was purchased from Bill Design. Myself and my boyfriend set the grommets in it um, to save a little bit of money. You can buy a grommet setting kit at Michael's. It's really, um, they're a little bit expensive for how many times you're going to use it, which is one, maybe two. So you may want to share a grommet setting kit with a friend. Originally, I had a handmade banner. That's the banner that you can see at the front of the table. And that was something I'd sewn myself. Seems like a lot of work for a banner. It was a lot of work for a banner, but I was trying to save money and I do sew and I do enjoy sewing. That's another thing, as a convention artist, if you have hobbies, please bring them into what you do. It um, makes your table feel more original, it makes it feel more you. 
Um, a problem I have noticed at some cons is that many booths are set up exactly the same way. So you'll get like five people all selling the same kind of stuff with all the same layout. That's why it's important to bring yourself into the table as much as possible. So I have a lot of prints, well mini prints, um, a lot of original art. I need a way to display all that. I have my commission examples in this friend, uh, flip friendly mini portfolio. So a commission means that I'm going to make, you're going to make something for me. That's correct. It is custom for you. Okay. And you can do these for me at the show? I can do um, pencils and inks at the show. Anything in color, I like to work on it at home as it gives me more time to make sure it's perfect for you. Why are they so small? Because they fit in the book that way. Okay. I, I also have, because I have a lot of mini prints and I don't want them taking over my display, they're not the focus of what I do, I do have a mini print portfolio for customers to flip through, as well as a selection of mini prints up in photo holders. And I found that that's a, a quick, easy way to organize my prints. I don't even have to remove them from the sleeves. Yeah. So if I want to buy something, I just grab it off the table? <laughs> See, that's that's where I'm transitioning. Um, I do have a lot of help yourself sort of items, but I also have a lot of items that require my direct input. So I generally encourage my customers to ask me questions and I try to engage them as early as possible in the sales process. That way I can kind of get an idea of how much I need to help them. Pretty much all transactions end with me bagging the product after I take their money. Speaking of money, do you take credit card? I sure do. I have the newer Square, e it's EMT, correct? No, uh, EBT. No, because Visa did it, so V is in there somewhere. EBT, Visa, Peter. MasterCard, EBT, and there we go. Europay. Right, sorry. Uh, acronyms, harder for me. I have the new reader, and this also takes Apple Pay and Samsung Pay, but no one has tried to pay me with those yet. And um, the Magstrip Swipe Reader. And you can get the two of them together, Target has it for 50 you can buy it through their site as well. So in order to get all of my original mini watercolors up on the grid, I use a product, I use magnets, little magnets called buckyballs. They're no, no longer for sale, but you can get neodymium magnets. Um, I also use clips since some items are harder to magnet than others. And um, the magnets are not going to harm your originals. The clips, there is a chance it'll crimp the paper. And also some of these. Oh, that's right. I have a special, I, unfortunately I can't remove it from the grid, but I have a special type of clip that has a J hook on the end. You can find them at Michael's. And I use them to hang up inexpensive picture frames that have some of my original pieces in it. Now this is important, especially for more expensive items. A lot of people have a hard time envisioning the, these sort of watercolors in their home. So framing it provides context for your customers. It lets them know how it looks in a different setting. And it can be done very inexpensively. Dollar Tree sells frames. You do a foam mat with some nice wrapping paper and put your image on in front of that. And I notice all your things have signs. Some of them are uh, more permanent signs that it's are true. laminated and some of them are temporary signs that it uh, looks like you just wrote on to you. Do you have any kind of recommendation on custom signage versus sticky notes versus um, getting something professionally produced? So I do not. I am always massaging, working on my setup, trying to find a better way to do things, a better way to engage my, uh, my customers. One of the things I did do is I made mini signs for permanent items like my comic that featured the main character of my comic, Kara, in my digital chibi style and I have them kind of scattered around the table. They're cute, they're eye-catching, they match the layout, they're relevant to the things I'm selling, they're relevant to my brand. Um, I recommend finding signage that, you know, supports your brand, supports how your table looks. Thank you guys so much for visiting with me. In another video, I'm going to do a demonstration uh, sales pitch for you guys in case you're having trouble coming up with a pitch. Customer engagement is important, so I hope if you're having trouble with that, you'll watch this video. I'm Becca Colburn. I'm here at a KaiCon in Nashville, Tennessee. If you're ever in the area, please come say hi to me. I would love to see you guys. Um, it really means a lot 
to me. Those of you who do take a moment, especially um, how to be a con artist readers, those of you who take a minute and say hi, it, it gets a little lonely and sometimes it gets a little weird writing for you guys without ever getting a chance to meet you. So I really appreciate it when you guys do come say hi. So thank you for hanging out with me. Bye!